Three jobs in a day. Welcome to Freelance, my friend. First stop is The Guardian, and then we're doing TRT World, and then it's Five Live Sports. So get the kids to school, and it's an 8.30 start to record with Max. Uh, but before that, I've done the ITV highlights, of course, and made notes as I've gone along. And I've also watched the EFL extended highlights to remind myself what's going on. So here we go. Got my microphone, got the notes that will help me do little bits and bobs. We record over Zoom, but record locally as well, and producer Joel puts it together. Oh, a really interesting one because they, they play this style of football. They've got loads of young players, Jaden Philogene in particular. Next, it's TRT World, and we're talking Sir Jim Radcliffe's takeover of Manchester United. So I've binged a load of stuff already, his interview with Dan Rowan, and also this profile on him from a decade ago, but it was really fascinating. Anyway, I'm in my son's room, and I've set up like this. That lamp I regret putting there. You'll see why in a minute, but I'm filming it on my phone, and I'm ready to go. What Alex Ferguson said in the mid 80s, isn't he? This whole knocking Liverpool off the perch. He is, but I think, you know, there's a there's a little bit of a bluster there, perhaps, with Jim Radcliffe. I know if you look at his sporting endeavours, he you know, he goes for the best in class. He wants to be the best. We've seen that uh, in cycling. A little bit of glasses glare, but hey ho, what can you do? Anyway, next step, it's five life sport. We're gonna athletic Bolton Wanderers. Big Lancashire derby. Got my match notes done before I hit the road. Uh, listen to some music and a podcast or two on the way. 1.7 speed. Get completely up to speed with what's going on at the DW before sunset. What am I having for tea, by the way? Well, it's latex, so a pie, of course. Don't mind if I do. Next step is dialing in. Had a couple of issues here. My old friends at Radio Manchester where I used to work were there to help. Then, eventually, we're all dialed in, ready to go. Except the match got delayed by 30 minutes because of traffic, but all the fans got there eventually, and my next job is to do updates on goals and also some little bit of uh, updates for the website as well. And we had one goal. Later to kick off in League One, Sani Radravadula. Well, the PA is up to 11 here, and Wigan fans don't care at all. They've managed to beat Bolton by a goal to nil. Stephen Humphreys off the bench, sliding through. It's nine years since Wanderers beat Latics. Wigan have the bragging rights for this. Wigan Athletic 1, Bolton nil. Thank you, Sani. In my experience of Wigan, the PA is on 11 when they actually switch it on at the start <laughs> of the evening. Now, that delayed finish meant that Radio Manchester couldn't quite manage both post-match interviews, so I said I would help out and chat to Sean Maloney. Didn't manage a shot for over an hour. I mean, that was some performance in the end. Yeah, defensively, uh, Alec, we had to defend. We had to defend for a long period. It felt like everything was going to go... And then do a bit on the socials as well for Twitter and TikTok. The two, it's a Lancashire derby, of course. And then it's home and bedtime. Yes, technically it's the next day, but it's one of those days, and we're all good to go again.